Oh, hey. What up, nerds? It's your boy, it's your guy, it's Dean, you know me. So today we are going to be diving deep onto a subject that is near and dear to my heart. So we're going into Premiere Pro today and we're gonna be looking at my top editing shortcuts that you probably haven't heard of. So we're gonna start out simple. The first one is hitting the tilde key, which is the key underneath your escape key on the left side of your keyboard. So what the tilde key is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to expand each panel in Premiere. So if you wanna expand your source monitor, your project folder, if you wanna expand your timeline, your main video preview, um, you're gonna hit this key and to undo it, all you have to do is hit it again. Super easy, super essential. I use this every day. So the next shortcut is gonna be basically a copy and paste. It's copy and pasting your video settings onto another clip. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Command C on the clip that you want pasted, you can select just the uh, video file, you can select the audio, or you can select both. Uh, and then you're gonna hit Command C, and then you're gonna select either one or multiple clips that you wanna apply this same preset to. And then you're gonna hit Command Shift D, and you'll be prompted with this window and you can decide which effects you'd like to transfer over. If you cropped the video in on this point and you wanna just carry that over, then you'll just select motion and bada bing, bada boom, you're in. So the next key that I use on my timeline is the backslash key. And basically what that's gonna do is it's going to allow you to see your entire timeline and your entire clip. This is just an easy key command to kind of like back out of your project and see what you are looking at on a full scale and see how long your project is. Super essential, super useful. So the next one is going to be a cut tool and this is command K, this is not C, you're not using the razor tool. Uh, what you're gonna do is if there's clips stacked on top of each other and you wanna cut all of them down at once, you're just gonna select over it with your timeline and then hit Command K and it's gonna cut all those clips evenly right where you wanna cut them. Command K, super essential, use it every day. So the next one, so hitting the G key while you have a clip selected is it's going to allow you to control the audio gain. And this gives you freedom to select the exact decibel point that you want peaking on the clip. So if it says it's negative six is at your peak, then you could either type three to make it negative three, or you can do negative three to make it negative nine, depending on what you want. So staying on the G key, uh, the next one is going to be grouping your clips in the timeline. So this is not creating a nested sequence, this is just creating a group of clips that you can move around and do free time with. Do free time with, what does that even mean? You can move around freely. So you're gonna select all the clips that you want in this group, and then you're gonna hit Command G on your keyboard, and they're now grouped. And to undo this effect, you're just gonna hit Command Shift G on your keyboard, and it'll ungroup them. Easy as that. Super, super, super helpful without having to nest something and create its own little thing, blah, 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 you know. So the next hot key is gonna be Shift R, and this is gonna be used in your source monitor. If you're trying to find a clip that's in your timeline, if you don't know exactly where it is, if you wanna edit it a little bit, go to your source monitor, go to the window, and hit Shift R, and it'll bring you directly to the clip in your timeline where that source monitor clip is being dragged from. Super helpful, super essential. Very, 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 very nice. <laughs> it's, it's a good hot key, I, I, like, I like it a lot. Everything here is basically just all about speeding up your workflow and creating a faster editing pace. These are my top hotkeys that you probably didn't know existed. You might have known a couple of them, but hopefully you did learn something. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, please comment, please hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep going. Thank you.